Walmart just bought TV maker Vizio for $2.3 billion. Now, I wouldn't be at all surprised if you just scrolled right on past that headline the other day, if you even saw it. And you might be surprised to learn that I'm not here to try to convince you that you should care. But I do think that you're gonna wanna know what's about to happen to your smart TV, no matter what brand it is. Welcome back everyone, I'm Caleb Dennison and this has been an interesting week for me as you'll soon see played out on this YouTube channel over the next few days. I was just finishing a review of Vizio's new Quantum Pro TV when I heard that Walmart might buy Vizio for a whole lot of money. So I kind of folded that possibility in toward the end of the review, but I had no idea at that time that rumor was going to come true just two days later. So if or when you watch that review, keep what we're about to talk about here in mind. Okay, so Walmart bought Vizio. Big deal, right? Well, yeah, actually it is literally a big deal. One worth over $2.3 billion. That alone tells us something. And while I understand some folks who are like really into TVs, myself included, may be curious about what that means for Vizio TVs in the future, I don't think that's nearly as interesting as what Walmart will do through Vizio TVs and perhaps more importantly, what the ripple effect will likely be across every smart TV platform. That's right, it doesn't matter whether you own a Vizio TV, Roku TV, Google TV, Fire TV, Samsung TV, or LG TV, what Walmart is about to do could have a profound effect on your TV watching experience at home. And I'm about to make that very real for you. Oh, and if you own an Apple TV, well, you may be safe-ish for now, but we'll get back to that. So we're gonna kick this off by doing what one should always do when a market shifting event happens. Let's follow the money. I actually think this is gonna be fun. Let's go. Yeah, we followed that money right back to the uh, studio. It was getting a little loud in that parking lot. Anyway, to start, let's acknowledge that Vizio, like a lot of big companies, has a storied history. Vizio grew really quickly. In 2006, it brought in about $700 million, and in just one year, more than doubled that to an estimated $2 billion in revenue. In 2014 and 2015, Vizio made a couple of big acquisitions, which helped make its SmartCast smart TV platform what it is today. And that's gonna be really important in just a minute. Also in 2015, a Chinese brand called La Echo almost bought Vizio for $2 billion. Again, this was nine years ago. China's government ended up blocking that so it didn't happen, but Vizio continued to sell TVs. Lots of TVs going into people's homes, millions of little Trojan horses. In fact, right up through 2020, Vizio was the number two selling TV brand in the United States. But since then, Vizio has fallen to the number four or five slot, depending on which report you reference. Why does this matter? Well, it tells us that Vizio's status as a TV brand fell quite a bit in the last three years. Now, one could understandably think that to mean that Vizio needed some financial help, and maybe it did, but I don't think Walmart showed up to help Vizio. I think what's happening here is that Vizio is gonna help out Walmart. See, while Vizio's sales may have slipped over the past few years, it still put a massive number of TVs into homes across the US over the past decade. And because folks still don't replace their TVs all that often, it's estimated that Vizio has some 18 million active users of its smart TV platform. And Vizio has mountains of data on those people. Maybe you're one of them. So when Walmart bought Vizio, it bought over 18 million advertising screens in US homes that it could control. And in doing so, Walmart became one of the top 20 ad sellers in the world outside of China. That's huge. No wonder this deal went through for $2.3 billion. Now, this notion that Walmart bought Vizio not because it wanted to make TVs, but because it wanted to buy advertising screens already in some 18 million homes, and it's almost certain that number is going to grow exponentially now because Walmart moves a lot of products, that's not an original take. It's actually not even that hard to come to this conclusion, but, let me make this a whole lot more real for you right now. Let's just take a break from Vizio and Walmart and just turn on this TV and see what happens when I go to watch a show on Amazon Prime Video. Now, when I tried this earlier, I got an ad for TurboTax, which is appropriate because it's tax time. 
and I also got an ad for a Blink camera. Guess who owns Blink cameras? Amazon. Amazon is showing me an ad for a product that it not only sells, but also makes. Talk about self-servicing. I also got an ad for shopping on Amazon, but not just shopping on Amazon, shopping for a Hyundai car on Amazon. That's a two for one ad right there. Think about this, after 18 years of Amazon serving up video content with no ads at all, the retail giant, which is not having trouble selling products, decided to turn on ads to help convince me to buy more products on Amazon, as well as any other products its advertisers might want me to buy. Or I can pony up three bucks a month to skip the ads and get HDR and Dolby Atmos back, but that's a rant for another day. Anyway, Amazon Prime Video is now selling me retail products, and it's already happening on Fire TV devices as well. You don't even have to be watching a show to see an ad anymore. Now, let's get out of the Amazon app and just back to the Google TV platform. I may have to deal with ads in the streaming services, but at least my precious Google TV platform is mostly ad-free, right? And the ads we do see here are usually for content I might want to watch. They aren't trying to sell me retail products, right? Wrong. Just the other day when I turned on this Sony QD OLED TV running Google TV, the first thing I saw was an ad for a Kia EV6. It was made to look like a movie or a TV show that I could watch. I almost clicked on it by accident, but I didn't even need to click on it because Google TV ran a full motion preview of it, so I kind of just saw the ad anyway. Retail advertising on smart TV, guys. It's about to explode. Amazon knows what I like to shop for and buy. Google knows what I like to shop for. Both of them are now serving me ads that are targeted to my preferences. And what do we know about advertising? It works. It always works. How do you suppose Walmart would like to grow even bigger than the behemoth it already is? Walmart product ads on Vizio TVs. It's coming, and it probably won't even take that long for it to begin. Pretty soon, Vizio TV owners are gonna turn on their TV to watch the latest episode of True Detective, and before they can even navigate to the Max app, they're confronted by an ad for a baby monitor because someone in the house bought diapers the day before. I'll get back to that advertising nightmare shortly. Let's set that aside for a moment and switch gears to talk about Vizio's TVs themselves. What's going on there? Will the TVs go down in quality, up in quality, stay the same? In short, I don't know. But more importantly, I don't think Walmart or Vizio knows yet either. There may be some tentative plans right now. I mean, in these buyouts, it's not uncommon for the buyer to tell the employees of the company that just got bought that they are committed to preserving what has made Vizio such a powerful brand, blah, 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 lip service, blah. But in the end, I think what happens to the Vizio hardware is really to be determined. And one reason I don't feel super optimistic about things, there was Zero mention of Vizio's TV in the press release that Walmart sent out about this massive buy. In fact, it was somewhat hilariously all centered around SmartCast, which if you didn't know is a name that Vizio got rid of several months ago as it released its all new smart TV platform that Vizio calls home screen now. I mean, dig that for a second, will ya? Walmart has probably been planning this buyout for so long that it was operating on months or years old information because it clearly didn't know that Vizio ditched SmartCast. SmartCast is gone now. The thing that Walmart bought Vizio for, the smart TV platform has evolved and Walmart apparently didn't even know about that. Yikes, not a good look. Anyway, I don't anticipate Vizio putting out another P-Series Quantum X TV again. I think Vizio is a better name for a TV than on with two ends, and that's about as much as Walmart cares about the TV performance. Okay, back to selling you stuff, or selling me stuff. So we've already covered that it's not just the streaming services running retail ads, it's on platforms now as well. Amazon does it, Google does it, Walmart can do it now. What about Roku, Samsung, and LG? Well, they've been running ads too, but they haven't been quite so focused on retail product ads, at least not in my experience. But that is going to have to change. Advertisers are gonna go where the eyeballs are, and whoever has the eyeballs is gonna wanna get that ad money. Look, all of this was already happening. It's just that Walmart is a market mover. When Walmart does something, 
everyone else reacts. So now, not only will we be dealing with ads on streaming services, unless we pay a premium to get rid of them, we will be getting ads on our TV even before we start watching something. Welcome to the new era of streaming TV. It's now officially worse than cable, but that's only until cable boxes start doing the same thing because as we know, cable operators are already struggling and they love to make that money too. Oh man, and I almost forgot, let's not forget that there is now a TV that you can get for free. You just have to deal with this whole second screen that plays non-stop ads. Oh, you hadn't heard of that? Yeah, it's a thing. Now you might be wondering, is there anywhere that's gonna be safe? Is there any bastion for an ad-free experience? Well, for now at least, Apple isn't selling ads to third parties for display on its Apple TV 4K boxes, but I mean, Apple is Apple. But might even the great Apple climb down off its high horse at some point? Look, there's a whole lot more that's going wrong with streaming TV, but I'm saving that for the very next video that I'm gonna shoot here in about five minutes. So I'll see you again soon because we are just getting started. Thanks as always for watching everyone. What do you think about all this? Let's talk about it down in the comments section. Slap this video with a like if you appreciated it. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one I'm about to shoot. I'll see you on that next one. And until then, here's two other videos I think you might like.